What is the difference between religion and spirituality? Yeah, I'm gonna go there. A lot of people think that they're the same thing, but are they? I don't think that they're the same thing. I mean, there's a big difference between religion and spirituality. Yeah, because a lot of people, they say that they're spiritual, not religious. When I first heard that, that seemed weird to me. How could you be spiritual and yet not religious? There actually is a big difference. I mean, there shouldn't be, but there is a big difference. So just stick with me. Let's go back to the time of Moses, okay? Moses was a man who talked with God. He was very spiritual. He had a direct connection to God. I think that's a good definition for spirituality. So God told things to Moses. He taught him and he commanded him to go tell the people. So essentially, Moses is a prophet, a mouthpiece for God. So if we're talking about a church or a religion, Moses was the prophet leading this religion and they had a direct connection to God, he would teach the people, the people could pray or fill in their hearts and know if it were true or not. So they had a direct connection to God. So they were spiritual and yet they were religious. But then what happened? Over time, apostasy happened. In the worst type of apostasy, people start killing the prophets. That's what they did. They killed the prophets and they started changing the teachings or changing the doctrine. Can you do that? Can you just change doctrine? Well, let's fast forward to the time that Jesus Christ was on the earth. Okay, the Jews had divided into two main different sects of their religion. There was the Pharisees and the Sadducees. I mean, there's other divisions like the scribes. Let's just look at the two, the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They had very different doctrine. One group believed in resurrection. The other group didn't believe in resurrection. One group believed that marriage was very important and divorce could not happen unless it was an extreme case. The other group believed that oh, you could get a divorce for a lot smaller things. These groups were not led by a prophet. So their religion was not spiritual anymore. It was based on tradition. It was based on doctrine that was voted upon by the leaders of that sect. You know what's the most ironic thing about this whole thing? The Pharisees and the Sadducees decided to reject and kill the most spiritual person that ever lived. Not everyone was evil. Not everyone was apostate and decided to join a religion and abandon all spirituality. There were a lot of people who were very spiritual. And when Jesus Christ was in front of them, they recognized him as their savior. They felt that burning in their heart, that burning inside that we feel. And they chose to set their pride aside, no matter what the Pharisees or Sadducees or anyone else said, and they followed their heart. So what does that mean for today? We don't have Moses here today, do we? So remember, spirituality is a connection to God. That's a very good thing. And for the sake of this video, we'll call religion a connection to a church, an organization of people that believe in a set doctrine. There are hundreds, even thousands of different churches and religions. Set aside the fact that there are completely different religions from Christianity to Islam to Sikh to Judaism, many more that I've never heard of. If we just take Christianity, there are hundreds of different Christian religions. But if that church doesn't have a direct connection to God, then that church can only get me so far. And for me to have a direct connection to God, for me to be spiritual, I have to go the rest away myself. So I can understand why today there is such a big separation by people who want to be spiritual and they call themselves spiritual, but not religious. But there are so many churches or so many religions that are not fully spiritual. I know I'm gonna get flack for this one. They talk the talk, but they don't fully walk the walk. Now, please know I'm not trying to be judgmental here, but hear me out on this one thing. A church without a prophet is a club or a business. Can doctrine really be decided upon by vote? Think about the Nicene Creed. People got together to vote on the Godhead. Is the Godhead one being? Is it three separate beings? Is it three in one? That doctrine was decided upon by vote. I love business. I mean, I totally love entrepreneurship. I believe in it. I eat, drink, and breathe entrepreneurship. And I've attended many other churches as a guest and I see how well they are run as businesses. The pastor or the leader of that church, that's his full-time job. Can you believe that that's actually a foreign concept to a religion that's combined with spirituality? In the scriptures, a lot of times this is referred to as priestcraft. 
you're preaching the gospel and supposedly leading people to God for money. People pay you to be forgiven. I personally love religion and I absolutely love spirituality. And for me, if my church were not led by a prophet, if it were led by a business owner, I couldn't devote myself fully to that church. I would have a lot of unanswered questions. Did you know that there are bishops or ministers out there that don't get paid? They actually have other jobs, other careers, and they volunteer as a bishop, and they just serve for a period of time, and then somebody else in the congregation takes turns. And then a few years later, somebody else takes their turn. Imagine a church where there was one prophet that received revelation directly from God for the entire planet. And the church could meet together in congregations and volunteer and teach each other and grow in learning the doctrine relayed directly from God through the prophet. Why am I talking about this topic? There is a prophet on the earth today. It's not the Pope. It's not a meditating celibate monk. The prophet on the earth today is a retired heart surgeon. Seriously, a heart surgeon. In fact, one of the world's best heart surgeons. He pioneered a lot of the advancements in heart surgery and is well-renowned in medical schools and among medical professionals worldwide. The cool thing is, you don't have to take my word for it. You see, the way God works, the same way that it worked back in the day of Moses, God speaks directly to a prophet. The prophet then relays that information to us. And then through the Spirit, we can know if it's true or not. We can know if that person is a true prophet. Because there's a lot of false prophets, aren't there? God has provided a way for us to learn truth for ourselves. This way, we're not led astray by false prophets. So, should you be spiritual or should you be religious? My challenge to you is to find a way to be both. Do all you can to have a direct connection to God. That's what I'm trying to do. And find a church that's led by a true prophet. It has to be a true prophet or this doesn't work. It can't just be a club where there's a drummer up on stage singing songs about being good and being nice to people. It's not that you can't attend those, it's just that know that that's just a club. That's just a religious support group. That's just a concert to make you feel good. So I'm really curious, what do you think about that? I expect to get some flack in the comments. Be nice, but do share your, your honest opinion. I've been wanting to film this episode for a long time, and we finished filming, full day of, of filming today with one of my clients here at this cabin, and I just felt, you know what? Now's the time to film this video. I'm obviously very biased. I have my opinions, and you don't have to believe my opinions, but I have two hopes. My first hope is that my logic and reasoning might have pricked something in your brain to at least think about what I suggested. My other hope is that your heart was pricked, that you were touched, and that you sincerely want to know, is there really a prophet on the earth today? This isn't my typical video. Um, I typically talk about YouTube, marketing, entrepreneurship, influence, uh, and so I'm gonna ask you to subscribe if you want more topics like that. If you do want more religion type topics, go ahead and comment below. Let me know what questions you have for me and I'll consider making videos about those too. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow.